Welcome everybody. In this video, I will show you how to fix blue or black screen boot loop error with the following error message. An operating system wasn't found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del to restart. First, we have to mention the most common cause for this error, in order to select the solution that is applicable to your case. 1. Improper BIOS settings is in the following cases. After manual changes. After BIOS updates or reset. After cloning HDD to SSD. 2. Corrupted BCD file. 3. Improper configuration of Windows and boot partition. 4. Hardware problems related to disk drive such as loose connection, physical damage or bad sector on the disk drive. 5. Corrupted or deleted files of operating system such as manual deletion, virus deletion. 6. Operating system is unavailable such as after formatting partition of Windows or another operating system, new computer without prior operating system installation. I will show you how to fix each of them one by one, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell icon and like the video. Also, don't forget to add a motivating comment to encourage us publishing more useful videos. I will show you how to change the BIOS settings briefly in this video, however, there is a link for another video in description with more details about that. To open BIOS settings do the followings. Power off your PC completely. Power it on again. Press and hold the BIOS key that appears in the bottom of your screen after pressing the power button immediately. The key varies from PC to PC according to the manufacturer as shown in the text file. Take a screenshot or a video for BIOS settings using your mobile camera before doing any changes so you can revert it back to previous settings if you found that the issue is not related to what you have changed. Navigate to boot tab and change boot mode based on your disk scheme. If you have a GPT disk scheme, change the boot priority into UEFI first and boot mode into UEFI. As you can see, all my disks disappeared after changing boot mode into UEFI, because they have an MPR scheme. If you have an MPR disk, change the boot mode into legacy support and boot priority into legacy first. As you have seen, both of my disks appeared after changing boot mode into legacy, because I didn't restart my laptop, but if I restarted the laptop while boot mode set to UEFI, the disks will not appear until I restart the laptop after changing boot mode into legacy support. Also you may need to change SATA controller mode from AHCI into compatibility mode or vice versa, and this is depend on the settings mode during Windows installation. If you have an MPR system, change the HDD or SSD with Windows into the top of bootable drives list. You can use F5 and F6 keys from keyboard in Lenovo and similar laptops or through mouse buttons as on Asus and similar laptops. If you have a GPT or UEFI system, make sure that the Windows boot manager is the first item in the boot priority list. If you have a Dell or another laptop with BIOS similar to this, make sure that all SATA controllers are enabled. If the issue is after cloning the HDD to SSD, then try to disconnect the HDD from the computer or disable it from UEFI BIOS settings then boot from the SSD. In some cases, you have to enable compatibility support mode or CSM from advanced boot options, and this depend on the disk scheme and settings when installing Windows. Finally, press on F10 key or navigate to exit panel and select exit and save changes option. If the issue not fixed, undo any changes in BIOS settings and proceed to the next suggestion. How to repair corrupted BCD file in order to fix black screen error. You will need a Windows installation media like DVD or USB drive in order to boot into Windows recovery environment. If you don't have any installation media, there is a video will show you how to create a bootable USB of Windows 10 using Android Mobile from links in video description or from notification card. To open advanced restore options from Windows installation media such as DVD or USB, do the following. Turn off the computer completely. Connect the Windows installation media. Turn on the computer. Once you see the manufacturer logo, press the F12 or another key from keyboard to enter the boot options. This is the list of most common keys to enter the boot menu for different brands. Move to the DVD or the USB and then press the enter button. Once you see this message, press any key immediately to boot from installation media. There is a difference in location of symbols between US and UK keyboards. So, change keyboard language to your system language if you haven't problem with location of symbols and letters. If not sure, see if you have a keyboard with symbols distributed like this, change keyboard language into US layout. And if you have another symbols distribution, then change the keyboard to UK layout. Click on the next button, then click on the repair your computer option. If you are unable to boot from Windows installation media, you may need to disable the secure boot from security tab and or enable USB boot from boot tab in BIOS settings. In some Asus BIOS or similar PCs such as Acer or HP laptops, you have to enable compatibility support mode or CSM, in order to disable secure boot. 
After booting into Windows Recovery, let's see how to repair corrupted boot configuration data file. Open command prompt. Execute the following command and hit enter. Putrek slash rebuild bcd. Execute the following command and hit enter. Putrek slash fix mbr. Execute the following command and hit enter. Bootsect slash nt60sys. Execute the following command and hit enter. Putrek slash fix boot. Close command prompt. Click on continue button to boot into Windows. If the continue button not shown, that means the BCD file not repaired or there are another source for black screen issue. If the previous method not work, try the following method. Execute the following command and hit enter. BCD edit. Then determine the letter of Windows partition from OS device entry. In my laptop the D is assigned to Windows partition and C to boot partition. If you have not get the BCD data, type notepad and hit enter. Click on file tab and select open option. Click on this computer icon and open partitions one by one to see which volume is the Windows partition. Windows partition is the disk that contain your account or profile inside users folder. In my laptop, the D is the Windows partition. After that execute the following command. BCD boot D colon backslash windows. Replace D with the Windows partition in your laptop. Finally close the CMD and click on continue button to bot into windows. There is another video available in video description with more details and additional options to fix BCD file. How to reconfigure windows and boot partitions properly. First, you have to know whether you have a GPT or MPR disk scheme. How to determine the type of disk scheme whether is a GPT or an MPR. Open command prompt. Type disk part and hit enter to open disk manager. Type list disk and hit enter. If you have asterisk under GPT column next to the disk number 0, then your disk scheme is GPT. If there is no asterisk, then you have an MPR disk scheme. If you have a GPT disk, then this method will not work for you. If you have an MPR disk, then proceed to the next steps to see how to configure Windows and boot partitions properly. Determine which volume is for Windows partition and which one is for boot partition is on steps 2.3.a through 2.3.e in method number 2. Now make sure the boot partition is active and windows and other partitions are inactive as followings. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list vol and hit enter. Determine the boot partition then select it using the following command. Cell vol x. Replace x with the volume number of boot partition. Type detail part and hit enter to see whether the boot partition is active or not. If you see no in front of active entry, then the boot partition is inactive and should be turned into active using the following command. Active. Execute detail part again to make sure it has turned to active. Select Windows partition using cell vol x command. Replace x with the volume number of Windows partition. Type detail part and hit enter to see if the Windows partition is active or not. Make sure it is not active, otherwise type an active command to deactivate it. Type exit to close disk part, then execute bcd edit command again. These data indicate that the bcd file has configured correctly and the boot partition is active. If the boot partition is not active and or the Windows partition is active, you will get one or both of the followings messages. The boot configuration data store could not be opened. The system cannot find the file specified. The previous two messages may indicate that you have activate wrong partition instead of activating boot partition, or the BCD file didn't configured correctly in method number 2. If you get the boot and system details as shown, then you have done. Close CMD then click on continue icon to boot into Windows 10. If the continue icon not shown, then the BCD file is still corrupted and or the boot partition is inactive, but if both of them configured correctly and you still have an issue, proceed to the next methods to fix your issue. How to deal with hardware problems related to disk drive, which could be a loose connection or physical damage to the disk. If you think that the hard disk is not connected properly due to dust or any other reason, do the following. Open the back cover of your laptop. Locate the HDD or SSD in which the Windows is installed. Disconnect the Windows disk then reconnect it again. If there is a dust on the disk connectors, clean it using dry clean tissue before connecting it back. You have to be familiar with laptop disassembly, otherwise don't try that. If your hard disk is damaged to the extent that you have see the error message saying that an operating system wasn't found, then you cannot fix that until you replace the damaged disk with new one, or until you install windows into another disk if you have more than one. There are a built-in tools can tell you whether the disk is corrupted or not. You can check the disk status using Windows Management Instrumentation Command, UMIC, or Check Disk, CHKDSK Tools. Execute the following command to check disk status. WMIC Disk Drive Get Status, Model. If the disk is healthy, you will see an OK under status. 
Execute the following command to check and fix reparable disk errors. chkdskc slash f slash r slash x slash b. Replace C with the letter of Windows partition in your computer. Restart your computer to see the blue screen of death has been fixed or not. Fifth. How to fix corrupted or deleted files of operating system. Open command prompt and type notepad.exe and press enter. Click on file then select open option. Navigate to computer folder and note the assigned letters for Windows partition and Windows installation media. In my laptop, the C is assigned for Windows partition and D for DVD installation media, but in your laptop it may be different. Execute this command to check if the system is healthy, reparable, or non-reparable. Dism slash image c colon backslash slash cleanup image slash check health. The result in my case state that, no component store corruption detected, because my system is healthy right now. If you get a result that told you the system is non-reparable, you should remove the installed system and start a new Windows installation. If the result told you that the system is reparable, you have to use restore health command to repair that is on the next step. Type the shown command and press enter. Replace C, with the letter of Windows partition, and D, with the letter of USB in your computer. Execute the following commands. SFC slash scano. If you get an error message says that, Windows resource protection could not perform the requested operation. That means the SFC tool was failed, and you have to perform the system file checker scan in safe mode. How to boot in safe mode. Type these command lines one by one and press enter after each command. Close command prompt. Click on continue option to open Windows 10 in safe mode. Type the DISM command only if you have Windows 8 or Windows 10, otherwise, execute the SFC scan directly. After this process is finished, you will receive one of the following messages. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. That means you don't have any missing or corrupted system files. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. This message means that you have done, and no further steps are needed rather than restarting your system and celebrate your success. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them. In this case, you have to replace corrupted files manually. You have to disable booting in safe mode by executing the shown command. The sixth source for an operating system wasn't found error is unavailability of operating system after formatting the Windows partition or in case of new computer without prior operating system installation. In these cases, you have to do a fresh installation of Windows operating system in a way to fix your this error. Thanks for watching and for subscription.